Tampa, check out the Lightning taking on the Rangers. When this song comes on, it's gotta be a sign. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm well, happy Sunday, everybody. Today is game three of the Eastern Conference Finals. Tampa Bay Lightning taking on the New York Rangers. Lightning down two games to none. We've made our way over to Amelie Arena, truly for the cheap seats today. We're probably sitting next to Jesus up above. But the bottom line is, We've made it to the game. Everything locked down hours in advance. The goal was to get here and get some footage ahead of the game. We are all aware we have a small challenge right now, you see. We're down two games to none against the Rangers. And to you Rangers fans, we wish you luck. Let's go check out the goodies. Oh, I like the white shirt. Stickers. Pride. Today is a good day to have a good day. Love it. Eastern Conference final stuff. And of course things left over from prior rounds. New hats. Old Stanley Cup champion hats. We are the defending Stanley Cup champions. For the more business casual fans. And for the outdoor fans. Signage, housewares. These are the street pole banners that were used last year, so the players faces some encouragement. Women's. It is packed in here. I like this shirt. Basic. Ooh, this is nice. Two hours prior to the game. The excitement is here. There's literally a man as Bush jumping out and scaring Ranger fans as they go by. Oh no, they started doing the opening stuff. The drum line is done. So it's time for Metallica. Stop. All right, a fine Pilsner beer. Let's take a look at what it's shaping up to be. Whoa, look at the Rangers. And the Lightning. The 
cameraman's playing Candy Crush. Let's take a spin around Bud Light Lounge. Lots of beer vendors in the middle, so get your beer on without a big line. Italian eatery in market. You can get some tiramisu. There's layers to this shit, son. Vodka lemonade, a little carafe. Ford's garage, snack shack, pretzels, popcorn, and hot dogs over here. Cuban sandwiches, empanadas. And then here's the important stuff. Look at all of that hardware. Most importantly, look at that. Three Stanley Cups. The Art Ross Trophy with Martin St. Louis next to Nikita number one bullshit Kucherov. Stamkos. Cooch in St. Louis again. Cooch again over here. Brad Richards. Victor Hedman. And Vasileski. Finny Le Cavier. World of Beer. Outback. Get yourself some blooming petals. Sliders, steaks, more snacks. Tampa Bay Sports Store inside. They have snacks here inspired by the visiting team. So we've got Dave's Meatball Poutine. Here we go at Canal Street Burger. 8th Avenue Grilled Cheese, which sounds absolutely delicious. And a Little Italy Hot Dog. Ooh, a Volturita. Or a Lightning Strikes. Or a Light the Lamp. PDQ. And fan watching areas. And here we go up to the cheap seats, literally, section 320. Ah, uh, Portillo's is up here. Happy Scrappy Hero Pups Tacos. Here we are between the pipes. Oregon. The view down below. Oh, off to the side when somebody moves. Wide angle. What song would you like to hear today? Scan that code. Our seats are over there, 320 all the way up. We're okay. Looks like Noisemakers is a giveaway today. Organs ready to be played. We're ready. So this is the view from the cheap seats. No zoom at all right now. Standard lens on the iPhone. And by cheap, I mean it ran like $180, including Ticketmaster fees. I think the base price for this level ticket here was about $159, which, by the way, is super cheap compared to going to Madison Square Garden. Just showing everybody's still queuing up outside to get in. But I want to say a similar ticket at MSG, if you were going to a Rangers home game, probably run you a few hundred bucks. If we have a lot of Rangers fans coming in here, where it's cheaper to make a Florida vacation and come to the game than it is to go to a game in their own home city. Go New York. But this is what is important. Three cups over the last 20 years. When I lived in New York and had gone to the Stanley Cup playoffs when the Rangers were in in 1994, they had not won the cup in 50 years. I thought 50 years was an impossible lifetime, but here it is 28 years later since the last time the Rangers won a cup. And there, just to soak it in again, three cups in the last 20 years. The ice is ready. Also directly in front of us, the Tesla coil. So they're explaining that glass case that we took video of before, it's all good luck terms. So basically all superstitious stuff. All things that we fans have used them, rubbed them, worn them, the team has not lost.
One thing to note is the Rangers all shooting high, which has proven, proven to be Bassey's weakness here in this series. Bassey versus Igor tonight. The show in Tron. I don't even think they had the internet the last time the Rangers won.
this club. And it doesn't just mean it's the start of the game. No, 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 no. It's much bigger than that. It ignites a shockwave. You can feel it. From the sky to the fairground, from the ground to the ground, from the ground, I got possibly the most messy food you could eat while you're at the game. No napkins to be found. We're getting a four on three penalty here. Oh my. Oh my goodness. It did not go in. Here we go. Score again. Two goals 
off of two bullshit penalties. Go, baby! Bullshit penalty. Anything to make New York win. What is going on? We're getting hammered out here. Look at this trip. We literally tripped them. The New York penalty to number eight, Jacob Puma. Two minutes for tripping. Tripping. He was on a breakaway. No penalty shot. Of course not.
check out the Budweiser beer garden. Oh, it is so hot out of here. Oh my. Party. The last of the last at Thunder Alley. Thank you, Phil. Well, I'm back home from Tampa. What an incredible comeback victory for the Lightning today. Let's hope that momentum carries them through and they even up the series on Tuesday. I was happy to see them win once and just be able to show that heart. I do think the Lightning get the short end of the calls uh, because, of course, you know, in NHL. Looking to put up the Rangers' big market team into the uh, Stanley Cup finals makes sense business-wise. And the Lightning have never been the darling of the NHL, whether it's fans from outside the market or broadcasters. It's really tough being in a small market, um, but tough being in a small market when the fans are so uh, fever-pitched and adamant and, and loyal to the Lightning. Uh, games are sold out on a consistent basis. There's a lot of Ranger fans at the game today, but um, quite honestly, um, for the most part, fans were great. Uh, when the Rangers were up, they were very much in a taunting uh, spirit, as you could hear in the video. Um, as soon as uh, they tied the game up, and then when the Lightning went ahead, the fans streamed down uh, the uh, staircase, as well as throwing their stuff onto the ice, which is really um, just poor. Coming from New York years ago, I used to always wonder why everybody hated people from New York or why they were looked at the way that they were as far as being obnoxious and so forth. And there certainly were a lot of um, obnoxious fans towards the end of the game. Um, so, be it as it may, I'm just happy the Lightning won. So, on that note, we're getting out of here. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. We'll see you guys.